All right, welcome back with the Harapans in Humankind. We are working our way toward war with the Zulu at some point. Uh, I think we'll put all our troops in position uh, on land right here on those borders because this is our friend and we are allowed to go into our friend's territory. And we just upgraded all our musketeers anyway, so we have solid strong armies uh, we can't really do anything here because we don't have the copper to build man of wars and no one has them for us to trade with so uh maybe the zulu will but i don't think oh they don't even have it so well uh yeah what we have is what we have so we will send our troops off here because we're going to take kerma it's just what's going to happen and we'll, yeah. and we'll send our ships here, yeah, ready to strike as well. These troops stay where they are. It's all good. And what do I want? We want to explore siege cannons, definitely. And we'll just keep building stuff. Get our first star, I'm sure. Very soon. Feel like building the Eiffel Tower, but there's better stuff to be built right now. You guys are just gonna sit there and defend for now. And I wish I could upgrade you. So much starvation. You guys have nothing to do. Which I take great offense to. Not being the most attractive point to build this. Where? I think we'll build a new garrison up here so we can turn this one down. Just so I don't feel so bad about it. Let's put both armies here. We didn't have to walk very awkwardly around. Do we need more armies than that? I don't think so. Because I doubt they will have an easy time to get here anyway. So we might just declare our first war. Let's check through our cities first. And our ships as well. You just defend here. That's fine. The heck? We just shot across the world there. Leave that as it is. These troops stay. These troops stay. Just our home guard. I mean, we could bring them out, but they're kind of outdated troops anyway. We have our best and brightest up on the front lines. So that should be just enough. Um, we have some idols. Yes. I want the idol city, though. Let's see what you got. What you need. Oh. Die manufactory. Tea manufactory. Don't have enough strategic resources for that. So. We build this. On the die thing. And that gives upgrades to things. If we build like. Money quarters around there. That will help. Very good. Uh, I think it's time for war. The Zulu have absolutely done enough. We're done. We're done with them. So we have declared war on them, meaning we may now enter the territory. And we're almost done researching our stuff. So for now, we're going to sit here and raid their cities. Bring our ships around here as well. And these ships we'll just put here in defense. That's fine. So in two turns, we have raised that. The ongoing war is draining experience for the Empire. You 
your many armies fighting across the land, costing you capital resources, and of course, blood. The question of funding these endeavors should be addressed. Army wages. Okay, let's see. Um, plus f paid wages. A decent, respectable soldiers must be funded on a dependable wage. Soldiers are kept on alert by earning their keep. Now. If an army wants reliable soldiers, they had best provide a reliable income. Our soldiers will be paid proper. Alright, siege cannons have been researched. It's not something you, in that sense, build. Uh, so let's start the siege here. And we will maintain it. So while we maintain it, they will build siege weapons, I believe. I hope. My god, I hope I'm right here. Nope, I'm not right, so we'll have to build some of these boys and bring them up. But that doesn't help us. Oh god, what did I do? Wait, 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 wait. No siege engine unlocked. Okay, I'm sieging without siege engine. That's great. So we can just assault. We're not gonna... I didn't know that. I did not know that. I think we'll instant battle this one because I made a... Uh, whoopsie. In in medieval eras, they build your catapults over time while you maintain the siege, and you cannot add units to a siege once it has started. So by building these uh, troops in the back end there, it didn't really help me. Uh, I wouldn't be able to add them here, so we'll have to instant resolute the, resolve this. Uh, let's see. We have lost zero units, they have lost six units, we have gotten some spoils, that's perfectly fine. And this city is now under our control. It doesn't belong to us yet, uh, but it is near enough to that. So we sail our ships further around, follow along the lines here. What is that? Oh, the Temple of Artemis. Ah... Yes. Cultural cons... What? Okay. We're just kind of working on that. Uh, that is a stupa. That's probably their specific thing. But we got the Temple of Artemis out of this. Well, 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 well. <laughs> Okay, we need to build mortars and bring them in as well. We can't leave them uh, without siege weapons. We definitely need mortars. And we'll build them at home. Build a bunch of mortars up to the frontier. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. This city has nothing to do. They got food, they got money, they got everything. Everything you could hope for. Ah, there's a whole bunch of things to do now. So we build an incense manufactory. Yes. Thank you. We build a lead manufactory. Yeah, giving us more influence. And we can't build any other manufactories here, but we can build bastions. And we can build grain silo, silos, which we probably should. And some of this, and some of that. And... Uh, that. <laughs> we'll just build a bunch of things. There we go. What is next in our lives? Dragoons? Maybe. For homeland defense. The armory. Yeah, we'll build that. A furnace steel. Okay, there is an enemy army. What do they have? Oh no. Winged Hussars. That looks really dangerous. I don't want to fight the winged Hussars outside of the city, to be quite honest. So we best bring our troops into the city. So they can fight from the safety of... The walls here and we'll leave this fleet 
as part of the city defenses for now. Simulated peoples. Replace. Revolt mercenary armies and enact the simulated peoples for independent peoples. You will not spend influence and your ideology. Refuse. Defy the foreign interference at a stability cost. Minus 50% stability. We don't have any stability, so get away. Let's see, what do we have going on down here? More industry to be built. Yeah, now we can replace this here. So the game gets its jollies. Should we build another garrison up there? I will build this. What do we have here? Prevents any empire revolution. Press freedom. We just keep refusing here. We don't care. It's ours now. I don't want to meet cavalry on the open field. I definitely don't want to do that. Trust me on not wanting to do that. I have very strong feelings about it. Let's see, but we should... Uh, oh, what's this? Military school? Howitzer? No. We'll go with the Dragoon so we have something to counter these Polish super units. What do you need? You have a lot of industry, money. I think we can build some more money around here. Or do you have a good Hamlet position? Oh, yeah, that's a good Hamlet position. Well, that good hamlet position. Do you have more good hamlet positions? Yeah, right next to the other hamlet. <laughs> more good hamlet. Ah, that's not interesting. Okay, there they come. Plonk, plonk, plonk. Boost research. Yeah, we'll boost research. Okay. So let's do a manual battle. So we finally get to see a battle, maybe. Uh, so we want our troops ideally inside the walls or away from the dragoon. So we put our... These guys here. And... I oh, no, wait. This is a tall thing. So we put these guys here. And put these guys here. They can't charge up the hill, but we can shoot down the hill. If they want to charge up, they need to go around. And horses cannot go into... Horses cannot go into... Or through walls. They have to tear them down, and they don't have anything to tear them down. So we can put these here. Alright, that's our deployment done. So they get first turn. But we should be fairly fine here. Okay, are they shooting at us? Oh. Peng! Okay, we'll just set these to defend so they get a bonus. And we'll get everyone else to shoot. And everyone who can't shoot yet, because they can't see anything, will be set to wait. You shoot someone? No. 
I don't think you can shoot anyone either. So this should be the correct way to do this. Now is his turn. I oh, know. He found a break in my defenses. Oh no, no, no. They, they're they supposed to attack here. That's fine. All good. See how fun this is? You can actually utilize the territory and everything. That's just amazing to me. You go on the defense. Defense. You can't see anyone. Defense. Doesn't always cycle through everyone, so be a little bit careful there. Okay, it's their turn now. What will they do? Oh no, it's still my turn. Now it's their turn. So we have to defend the flag up until here, and every little one of these has three rounds. And this happens entirely off screen, basically. Okay, we'll, we'll pull these back to safety. I don't want to lose this unit. But they would definitely die here. Okay, concentrate fire! Kill the Hussars! Fire! Ah, yes. Very fortuitous. Alright. I think we can end our round here. Okay, and uh, this is it for this turn. So we have to do another actual turn until we start into another round here. This is... Battles can last several turns, and I really enjoy that. Man, the, the combat is is so much more interesting than it is in Civilization. There's some strategy to it. Uh, you deploy and employ your troops very differently. I just I just think it's fantastic. It's really well made. Uh, okay, so we can build another harbor, I see. Well, 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 well. We will build another harbor. Uh, let's build it down here. And can we build another harbor? We can build another harbor. So we will build another harbor. Can we build even more harbors? Yes. Only this tiny pitiful thing, but we will. We're not above such things. These hamlets are useless for us, so we're not going to build them. Overseas interests. An era of grand commerces upon the empire. Trade routes riddle the land with wares fashioned in one corner destined for markets in the other. Yet it is not only overland that goods find customers. Now merchant companies across entire oceans uh, to link markets and make handsome profits. How do you wish to respond to their growing power? Free market? Nationalized market? I think the riches are to be served, uh, shared. In the interest of all. Pollution panel. The pollution panel allows you to monitor your current pollution and your pollution output per turn. However, hover over it for more details. What is this? Total atmosphere pollution 5. Plus 5 per Zulu turn. Your civilization benefits from the benefit from the proxies of others over here. That's an osmosis event. Boost our research. And let's check our battle. And it is our turn, and we will end it. There we go. We lost nothing. They lost everything. All right. Uh, let's have these. Rest up. And these will send across the pond to join up with our army.
And these guys... will also send across the pond to join up with our army. Let's see. Their war support is falling. We could offer our surrender, which we of course don't want to. So we would be well advised to walk on to the next city. And just wipe them from this continent. But we also need to secure this city. So move out here. Don't really want to bring this army. Army do you want to bring, my dear friend? This army seems well suited against what we're facing there, so we will bring this army as well. And we'll just wait until all these armies arrive. I don't think we have a stability issue at home. Another osmosis event happening here, so we can get more research and stuff. We do about pollution. The osmosis event. More research. Can send these ahead. Our troops will take forever to arrive. But if we never start them on the journey, they will never arrive. See how smart that is? Let's go attack that harbor of theirs. They don't think we have forgotten about them. That would be terrible. It would feel so sad. I wish to feel make them feel sad. Okay, let's do all the infrastructure that we can do here. All of it. Absolutely all of it. And then we start one of those public ceremonies. How are we doing? Are we doing great on everything? How are we earning so much money though? We have a lot of armies that need upkeep. There's a new army coming. Or it's standing and defending. We don't know. It might just be in defense. Oh no. No, 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 no. We turn right back around. They have mana wars. We don't. Oh. Oh, oh okay. I thought these were different ships. And we definitely attack them. These are not even ships. These are people. From Mississippi. <laughs> okay, guys, just sit tight. He's sending his armies. Trying to defend his territory. Oh, we'll get these boys. Let's see. Now ah, they're running away. As well, they should. We'll follow them, though. Don't get a chance to attack me. So he, of course, doesn't attack me directly. It doesn't tear anything down, even though we have two wonders, honestly, under our control now. He could tear all of this down, but he's not because he wants it back. Look at what we got here. My goodness, it's such a good thing. Supplementing our shortcomings so well. Come on, let's go, boys. Instant battle resolution. And we have won, and we've gotten another era star for it. We have lost nothing, they have lost six units, that must have hurt. Let's go and restore a little bit. We're getting some veterancy finally. Which is also something they take with them as you upgrade, so that's also good. What do we have here? What do we have here? 
I think it is time to build the Eiffel Tower or do we upgrade infrastructure first? Let's upgrade infrastructure infrastructure first. At least for the production stuff. So we get more production. And then we check through the world where we have the lowest stability and build the Eiffel Tower there. Okay, you guys just rest and defend our coastline here. And we let the enemy come, try and retake this from us. It's perfectly fine. Carbine researched. Very good. Let's get these boys in slowly but surely. They are the other ones. Good stuff. Good stuff. You just sit tight here. All right, now we build the Eiffel Tower. Wait, I wanted to check where we have the lower stability. Fine. We're good here. We're good here. Good here. Good here. All's good. Well, they have a little bit of an issue, but not enough to do anything about it. So what do you do? Doesn't really matter where we put it. Let's put it down here in, in the center of our world wonders and add definitely Harappa <laughs> can't add Karma because that's the new one but we can get Granverilvala that helps a little bit four turns away five Wait, that's just one turn. So Lothala is not going to help. One turn. Nah, it's fine. This is good enough for me. Three cities actively helping the development of the Eiffel Tower. What do we have? The Faded Lady. The years have not been kind to Notre Dame. Standing tall in the heart of Harappa. She has witnessed countless trials and tribulations, many taking a toll on the great building. Now, with the ongoing war, this latest onslaught has stripped the very last veneer of magic from the once magnificent wonder. Red relics pilfered, stained glass, windows smashed, and the spire listing. Stone blackened, and rats invading the- My god, I get it. No corner lies unscathed. The custodians beg for funds. Yes. Yes. No! I don't want to demolish this. Are you kidding me? Destitute on Harappa. I will renovate. I can deal with a little bit of loss of money. All right, here we go. Uh, thank you very much for watching so far. I hope you're enjoying our trip through humankind with the Harappans. And I hope to see you around on the next one. Like and subscribe if you haven't. Dislike if you hate it. And see you around next time. Until then, bye-bye.